Yeah, I'm not drinking this. Hey guys, got a random review here. I was while looking on whatculture.com and they were talking about 15 most disturbing moments in found footage movies. And if any of you guys have watched some of my reviews in the past, you know that I'm a sucker for those movies. Even if they're awful, I will still watch them. I haven't seen the last two or three Paranormal Activity movies. I'm, I don't have that bad of an addiction. However, I probably just watched the most disturbing one I have ever seen. Most likely, probably the most disturbing movie I'll have watched in a long time. Now I know there are a few movies out there that are known for their disturbing content. Audition, a Serbian film, uh, Cannibal Holocaust. There's a lot of them out there and I have seen some of them and I have seen some of these movies for the pure notoriety of them for you'll get sick if you watch this. However, the film I just watched, the Poughkeepsie tapes, it's really disturbing. For one, there's actually some knowledge of criminal investigation, uh, criminal profiling, um, the psychology of psychopaths in this movie. The film is a documentary in a sense that it is kind of going through the investigation of this killer known as the Water Street Butcher in the film. The documentary is focusing on the tapes that were discovered detailing the murderer's actions, not only just of killing the victims, but also torturing them and even kidnapping them. And I'll have to admit, they put some decent work into this. It's one of the more compellingly real found footage films I've seen. There are some moments that are so off-putting, so almost real, that you feel like you're watching a snuff film at times. Now I know there was the Serbian film, which was basically a snuff movie, and that movie was just stupid in my opinion. This one has some weight to it because of how well organized it is as a documentary. There are some actors in it, some, uh, there's a, a few examiners that are just terrible. However, these bad apples do not ruin the overall complexity of the film that's overall illusion that it's real and I give them points for that however the one problem that this film has from really putting you into that uncomfortable feeling is whenever the killer is on screen in his videotapes he's wearing a doctor's mask from those Italian comedy plays and when he's wearing it, he talks like a doofus. He just talks like an absolute dingwad. And it ruins the illusion for you. His actions are still horrifying. What he does to his victims is still pretty horrible on paper. But whenever he opens his mouth in a menacing way, when he's fully realized to the people that he is a murderer, it's really stupid. However, when he is still playing the illusion of a regular person and when the victims in the tapes of where they're getting kidnapped or where they're about to be killed they find out who he is there's one in particular with this woman in the back of his car that was really well done but is this a movie you would want to see i would say it is a well-made found footage movie it takes itself quite seriously with its material it even goes as far as to uh, remember the ones who we lost, the make-believe victims of the film, which is, you know what, Blair Witch Project did the same thing. But what I find interesting about this movie is that it was so harsh, so disturbing, that MGM canceled the theatrical release of this film. It was just pushed to DVD. They didn't want to release this in theaters. It was just too creepy, and I can understand why. I wouldn't see anyone really going to see this in the theaters. Blair Witch Project was creepy. It was scary. This is disturbing. And like I said, it's one of the most disturbing found footage films I've ever seen. If you guys want to, you can find it on Vimeo. I'm not going to give a rating for this film just because it's just too disturbing. Just too... Mm. But if you can stomach it, 
and you're a fan of well put together found footage films, I would suggest watching this. Anyways guys, I hope you like this review. If you're interested in more content from me, maybe hit the subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.